explosions, shootings, and kidnappings. Uh, this is what the Israelis have been dealing with since Saturday. And these are the images that Americans and the rest of the world woke up to in shock and horror. According to the White House, Palestine, and Israel, the Palestinians launched this attack in an effort to take back their land, which they say was stolen from them after World War II. Uh, Jonathan Ellis is a lawyer here in Tampa and the chairman for the JCC Relations Council. He had this to say about the attack. This had become a major barbaric slaughter of, of, in, of, of innocent people. And this sparked protests here over the weekend with people from both sides rallying in the same location but keeping things peaceful. Brick by brick, wall by wall. Ellis questions the reason for the attack. Is the goal of the Palestinian people to govern the Palestinian people or is the goal to kill Israelis? And if the goal is to kill Israelis, then it can't have a level of just self-determination. Ali Abdelkader organized this protest to show support for Palestine. From Iraq to Palestine! He says they support them because they're trying to right the wrongs that were done to them when their land was stolen from them. We stand in solidarity with Palestinians who are resisting the blockade, resisting the occupation. And both men say they want the U.S. to step in in some way. The U.S. aids Israel. The U.S. funds Israel. The Israel is only able, capable of continuing its apartheid and its oppression because of U.S. aid to Israel. I asked Alice the same question. The United States has been unequivocally clear on this. They will support Israel, and in particularly in this instance. And people on both sides hope there's a peaceful end to this. However, they don't see an early end in sight with these images coming out of Israel. J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.